Hello, this is Ray with DC Rainmaker. What I've got here today is a Garmin Vivo Active, and I'm going to show how it works in indoor cycling. Um, it's almost the same as outdoor cycling, except it doesn't have GPS. Uh, in this case, we're going to use AMP Plus speed and cadence sensors from the uh, TACX trainer there, or the TAX trainer, sorry. Um, this is the TAX uh, Vortex, it looks like in this case, um, which broadcasts AMP Plus speed and cadence as well as power. Uh, and then that'll go ahead and connect to the Vivo Active. And the Vivo Active does not support AMP Plus power only amp plus speed and cadence, but nonetheless, we'll go ahead and pair that up. So I'll start this here. I'll go over to settings, select settings, and then into the sensors menu. Um, and then from there, I'll swipe to the right to go ahead and add new sensors. I have a couple sensors from another bike, but we can go ahead and add additional sensors from this bike. Click add new, go over, choose speed and cadence, select that. And now I'll go ahead and find those sensors here in a split second. There we go. That's the combo speed and cadence sensor here. The unit also supports speed only as well as cadence only. So we'll select that. Um, now in this case, I can go and open up and add a, uh, sorry, swipe the wrong way. Open it up there um, and add the wheel size if I wanted to. I can do auto, which will do it from automatically GPS outside, um, or I can go ahead and specify that manually. Um, I'm gonna go and leave it as is for right now and go ahead and back out. Now I'll go into the main menu to choose the activity. You'll see this indoor running, cycling, as well as, uh, looks like uh, walking, I guess. Um, and I'll go ahead and choose indoor cycling. And at this point, I can go ahead and put the watch on the bike itself. I've got this cheap uh, $10 watch mount for Garmin devices. It's kind of been around for probably almost a decade now. Um, a really easy way to go ahead and uh, put the watch on a bike. Go ahead and get on the bike here. And then you'll see as soon as I start pedaling, what we'll do is go back to the main screen that I've got configured with speed as well as cadence. And if I click start, it'll go ahead and start right away. You can see as I increase the cadence, it'll increase on the screen as well. And I can change different data fields. And you can customize the data fields as well as you need to. So there you go. That's a quick preview of how indoor cycling works on the Garmin Vivo Active. Thanks for watching.